like okay hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna give you guys a review on this frontal wig that i got from this Safi.com. That's M S S A F M S S A F E E hair.com. So this wig name is her name is Diamond. Um, I paid two hundred eighty dollars for her, but I did have to pay more because I got it jet black versus natural, and it was forty five dollars off. She's having a promo slay right now. Um, so any wig you get, you get $45 off. I've been eyeing this wig for a very long time. She's had it up on the site for months, maybe even a year now. And she wears this style a lot on her Instagram. So I've been eyeing it a long time, but I wasn't really sure how it'll look on my head. Because my head is real circular, so I was a little nervous about getting a bob. So this wig is asymmetrical as you can see it's shorter on one side and longer on the other and this is basically how it looks. Um, I did a video where I was cutting the lace and all of that but I'm going to give you guys a review on the hair but this wig I didn't do anything to the hair I just cut the lace okay. So this is how it looked like if you just put it on basically. Um, yeah it came already parted right here. Can we focus? Mm -hmm. It came already parted right here, the side part. Obviously, you can do multiple parts around the wig, but in order to keep the asymmetricalness, you know, you'll have to part it right here. If you part it in the middle, then it'll be even on both sides and vice versa. So, let me give you guys my initial review. Now, this hair is deep, curly. Um, well, first, I love the color. The color is very even, and I like the jet blackness because I always get natural color hair. So, I was like, you know, let me expand my horizons and get jet black. So... My first, the first thing I really noticed about the hair was this side of the hair seems like the texture is much straighter than this side of the hair. Can you see that? You see that, Dylan? Mm -hmm. You see how this side's more curly and this side's more like brushed out? Yeah, you, can see. You, you see what I'm saying about that? Um, Cause I'm like, is why is this side have a different texture than this side? But maybe it got brushed right here. I don't know, but that's really my only big concern. Um, the hair is very thick, as you guys can see. It's very, 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 very thick. So if it does thin out, or if it does start to shed over time, it really won't matter because it's so dense. Um, I've bought hair from SIP for about four years now and all of my wigs have lasted several years I mean three years four years I had a wig that I bought my was body wave and not deep curly so you know body wave is more durable than deep curly but the body wave wig that I got from her I bought it in 20 well I got it from a friend but I got it from my friend in 2016 and I dyed that that was back when I was getting so in I had it sewed into my hair three times. I had it on two mo two different wig caps. I dyed the I bleached the hair three different times. I dyed the hair. That hair is built for it tough. Let me tell you about Miss Safi's hair, okay? It is durable. I've had that wig so long, and all the wigs I got from her last forever. I'm telling you. So I'm not super nervous about this wig. I'm just a little bit nervous about this texture because this is the second time that I got a deep curly hair from her. The last deep curly wig I got, I have to pretty much, um, anytime I want to wear it, I got to wet it and do the whole deep conditioner thing. But that's just deep curly hair. Like if you have straight hair, you don't have to do as much maintenance. But I'm going to show you guys. Other than that, I mean, everything is pretty good. Like I run my fingers through it, no hair, no shedding. You know what I'm saying? If it is any shedding, it's from when I cut the cut the lace, but it's no shedding going on. The hair thick as a mug, thicker than a snicker, thicker than your mama. <laughs> I'm weak. So the hair is very thick and it's, you know, it's mobile, it moves, but you know, it's a bob and I can move that much because it's, but yeah, I'm really liking it. The lace is really nice. Um, yeah, you see, I can do the little behind the ear action. It is so thick, I can barely push it behind my ear. Goodness gracious. But yeah, this hair is really thick. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would style it. Dang, this hair is thicker than it look. But I'm gonna show you guys how I would style my hair. So this is what the wig looks like after I sprayed it down with water and I um, applied this TGIN uh, moisturizer. The moisturizer is the Miracle Repair Curl Food with Black Honey and Coconut Oil and TGIN is my favorite. 
product to use on the curly hair and I use it on my natural hair as well. It's just, thank God it's natural TGI. It's just such a good product. I just, I'm going to do another review on that another day. But basically that's all I did. I had it on camera where I was going through the steps of how I achieved this look, but it got cut off somehow. <laughs> So basically all I did was just spray down each side, not to where it's drenching wet. I did about, y'all saw how thick the hair was, so I had to do more sprays than usual, but I did about six sprays on each side. Then I just took the TGIN, rubbed it in my hands, and just rake, literally just did like this. Just raked it through the hair. And it really defined the curls. And as y'all can see, that issue that I was having with this side of the hair where I was saying, the texture wasn't the same as this side that problem is completely gone because as you can see the texture now matches and I will say when I sprayed the hair sprayed the water on this side this side was it did have strands of hair that was stretched out and lacked that definition but once I put that TGI in it reverted right back and curled right up and that's why we stay in TGI in so basically yeah um I really love, love, love the definition on this wig, guys. Like, it is so cute. So let me know what you guys think about this wig. Like I said, I paid $280 for it because I wanted it jet black. So, you know, that taxed. And then I, um, but I used a $45 off code. So I guess it was $325 for the code. But that don't matter because you don't have the, you don't have the, you don't have the code. So go online and you know check her out like i said i've been wearing um these wigs from miss ip for the last five years and her wigs last me like, i don't mind paying a grip for her wigs because her wigs last okay they are built for the tough okay i if she has great customer service like whenever i have an issue with a wig like my last deep curly wig like it got real dry and i sent it back to her and it's like a brand new wig again so yeah she has that great line of communication and you get great wigs. So I don't mind paying a grip for quality. You know what I mean? And nowadays, y'all be paying $400, $500 for a wig. And you can get you a nice little summertime five bob for $280. Okay? I will put a link if it's still available because her wigs are custom. So she, she might not have this wig anymore. But I will put, but if you y'all show her like, oh, I like this wig, she'll customize it. But it might, the, the link might not be on the website anymore but can y'all see how cute this wig is but yeah the wig as y'all can see i'm running my fingers through it and it's already dry like i just sprayed it down and you know once you add the cream and it will dry but um no shedding Ooh. and it's thick as a mug i told y'all this wig thick y'all see i didn't even get to spray that much in the back I actually probably should spray, like if I was actually going somewhere, I would spray down the back a little bit more because the back is still dry. You know, the back gotta look as good as the front. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this wig. How do y'all guys think, how do you guys think it looks on me? Um, let me know what you guys think about my deep curly routine because I pretty much would do this every day. And it's simple, it's not like you have to do a lot. Um, after you glue the wig down and go through all that drama, obviously I would just do that and then you got you these popping, popping, popping little hairstyle. But yeah, obviously I would do that every day, so, but it's quick. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle. Maybe I can show you guys like, um, should I show them another hairstyle? You good. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to part it, you know, down the middle or another way. Make sure your lace is straight. Okay? You don't want to be doing all these parts if your lace ain't right. So basically, it's an asymmetrical bob. As y'all can see, it's long right here. It's short right here. So I parted down the middle. It's going to be equal. So I'm going to just take this rat tooth comb. Ain't nothing special. Ain't no magic. But I want y'all to see what it looked like with a different style.
Okay. How's that look, y'all? Middle part? Yes? No? What you think? I have one more style, but I'm kind of nervous um, to do it on camera. But I'm going to do it for you guys. But I really want to try to um, half up, half down a little bit. Try the little half up, half down. I still don't know how I feel about it. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that little half up, half down routine I had going on. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys are here to do. Um, let me know what you think about all the styles. Let me know what you think about this wig in general. Um, comment, engage, rock with me. Rock with me. I'm cool. Um. Oh, and let me know what you want to see in my next video, okay? I have a lot of different stuff coming up, but let me know what you specifically want to see. All right, bye.